Hi student, welcome to Mr. Iwan Physics class. Today we're going to talk about momentum. It is a new chapter in your IGCSE syllabus. So what is momentum? Momentum is when an object moving at a constant speed. Let's say the object is about 2 kg and then the speed is 5 m per second. So this object it has momentum. So how do we find the momentum? For momentum, it has a formula which is momentum equals to mass times velocity okay so it's very important for your physics that you need to memorize the unit that you're using for mass it has to be kg for velocity it has to be meter per second and then for the unit of momentum it will be kg meter per second okay so for example this question how do we calculate the speed will be 5 meter per second and then the mass will be 2 kg so momentum equals to 2 kg times 5 meter per second so total will be 10 kg meter per second so this is the momentum of the object so when every single object that is moving and they has mass so it has momentum okay understand so another important things about momentum is that you need to remember this principle so we call it as the principle of conservation of momentum okay so we have a shortcut for this principle we can call it as POCOM okay so what does this POCOM tell you POCOM tells you that the total momentum before collision will be equals to total momentum after collision okay so for principle of conservation of momentum or we call it POCOM you have a different formula which is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so in the front part this one it is the total momentum before collision and for the behind ones they are the total momentum after collision okay so why does one and two one it means that it is the first object object number one then this is object number two okay and then you see u and v so what does it mean u it means the initial velocity of the objects but v it means the final velocity of the objects okay so we must remember very clearly about this formula then only you can apply in your question so let me show you an example First type of collision we'll go through is called elastic collision. So in elastic collision, the of two objects will move separately after collision. So it means that they will have different velocity and they are moving in different direction. Okay, so this question will be like this. So you'll see an object A is moving at a speed of let's say 2 meter per second and the mass of it will be 5 kilogram. Okay, it is going to heat object B 
which is 0.06 kilogram and it is not moving so this is the situation before after that you see this object A it hit object B and now object B is moving so object A the mass is still 0.05 kilogram and the mass of object B is still the same but for A it is now moving at 1.2 meter per second so the question asks you to find how much is the speed of B after collision okay so we now need to apply the principle of conservation of formula principle of conservation of momentum formula so again we need to write down the formula So before and after. So collision before it will be, let's say I set object A as 1. So it will be 0 0.05 times 2 plus object B 0 0.06 times 0 equals to object A again after collision 1.2 plus 0 0.06 V2. Okay. So, this is before collision, this is after collision. So, all the information we got will be from the questions here. So, we just need to multiply. So, for this one, it will become 0 0.1 plus 0 equals to this one, which is 0 0.06 plus 0 0.06. 0.06 V2 So we now need to solve it out 0 0.1 minus 0 0.06 equals to 0 0.06 V2 So after we minus it becomes 0 0.04 0 0.06 V2 So 0 0.06 V2 equals to 0 0.04 V2 equals to 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.06 so you become 2 over 3 meter per second or we can write it in 0 0.67 meter per second so this will be the speed of object B after collision so student understand so we'll stop at here for the first type of collision. So we'll continue the next collision in the next video. Thank you.